Good morning guys, today is May 21st. I'm officially seven days out. It's roughly 8.30 right now. I'm gonna go make some breakfast and I'll explain to you guys what is the goal for today. So I just took a shower and had my eggs, not bacon. I wish I had bacon, there's no bacon, someone ate it. Kinda pissed me off to be honest. But anyways, today's food goals are to increase sodium, uh, have the same amount of carbs, same amount of protein, and I'm probably going to do that for today all the way to at least, I'd say, Monday or Tuesday. With sodium, I'm going to increase sodium now and decrease sodium. Well, I'm not increasing it by lots, I'm just adding a little, a, a bit of salt in every meal. And uh, with the carbohydrates, it's all the same, just vegetables. So what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be decreasing carbs slowly starting, I believe it was Monday. And then as well as when I decrease water, that's when I'll be decreasing my sodium. And what that's going to do is allow my muscles to look a lot more drier and ripped and just really bring out the overall package. Uh, I'm going to be explaining every single day the new thing that I'll be doing. So for today, it's increase the sodium. Um, I'll let you guys, uh, for tomorrow's vlog, let you guys know what I'll be doing for that day and every single day towards the show so you guys can know really that you could do this without having a online coach or a coach in general for it it's nice to have a fitness coach in general but really it's expensive not everybody has the money or time for that so I'm just gonna show you guys uh, us you know teens or cuz I'm 18 right and I wanna show you guys that you don't have to be uh, very experienced and whatnot to do all these things cuz I'm experiencing this just as much as you guys are learning from me as well and this is my first peak week, first competition, so I'm learning tons and tons of things. I've read tons and tons of articles, uh, different people's uh, perceptions as to if you should decrease sodium. Some people don't even decrease sodium. Some people don't decrease, don't uh, deplete water. Um, of course, depleting water is very dangerous. You have to be very careful with that. I've uh, done some research on Rob Riches. He has a, a whole fitness uh, peak week program. Uh, I'm taking bits from each and every single person that I think would work the best for me. And you guys should do the same. I think you should always find what works best for you. And really, sodium depletion, sodium depletion will be soon, but sodium increase is happening right now. Same with water. So right now I'm drinking about two gallons. I'm trying to drink two gallons of water. It's so hard, guys. I'm drinking maximum I've done so far is a gallon and and, and two liters. So it's tough I mean I don't think it, I don't know if it's body type or anything but it like to increase water is really hard um, it keeps you full at times but it, you're constantly drinking water you're constantly drinking water and uh, but what this is allowing you gonna do allow you to do is deplete the water later on and make yourself look more dry there's a type of hormone that gets released when you decrease sodium and water at the same time I'll explain that all in another video but uh, just know today 1.5 uh, gallons, yeah, 1.5 gallons of water and an increase in sodium. So I'm keeping it simple, uh, 650 grams of ground beef. And here I'm going to be adding the spices. So the first two meals I'm going to be adding, this is salt-free chicken uh, seasoning. I know this is ground beef, but that's all I got. Just going to add a little bit there. not really going there we go same here first two meals because this has garlic and garlic's gonna keep you up at night if uh, if you have it before bed so having it earlier throughout the day got to be smart with decisions you're making there we go then we got ourselves here some smoked paprika if you guys can see that if it's gonna focus in there we go smoked paprika I'm gonna add these or this uh, spice to the last two. Don't need too too much with this. Okay, should be enough. This one doesn't have any uh, salt either, I don't believe, because it's just its own thing. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'll free that. So for the last two meals, I'm gonna add a bit of salt. So I got my salt here.
Okay. Those are the meals for today. I just gotta add the vegetables now. So this is gonna be another little series since it is peak week now. I'm gonna be do doing a video every single day. It's not gonna be as crazy edited as it was with the other vlogs, but this will be every single day for the next seven days for the next week. Uh, really, it's just gonna explain everything I'm doing during peak week, what I'm doing per during each day, uh, what meals, how I'm training, water intake, sodium intake, uh, they say you should have about 200 uh, milligrams of sodium, if, yeah, of sodium, <laughs> and 1.5 uh, gallons of water that I already told you guys earlier. But this is a little series, so be sure to check in every single day. There's going to be a new video, new vlog every single day as to what I'm doing, so please stay tuned. Supposed to be super rainy for the next like couple days. Yesterday is really rainy. Oh, I'm not even parking that. Yesterday is raining a lot. Uh, it's supposed to be raining for the next four days. Yesterday was a Beyonce concert in, here in Canada, so kind of sucks for Beyonce, but she still gave a good show. I heard. On today's workout, it's gonna be focused on depleting my glycogen in my muscles. So we're kind of, we're trying to deplete as much uh, glycogen as we can, and then. We will increase the carbs close to the show. Uh, it's gonna allow the muscles to look fuller and all that stuff, right? You gotta do all these things in peak week and make sure you're doing it right. Peak week can go terribly wrong. Ugh, I can't even talk right now, guys. <laughs> can go terribly wrong if you're not doing it right. Uh, it's not really the main focus of everything during your preparation. It shouldn't be your main focus. Weeks before that should be your main focus when you're cutting down fat and all that stuff that you actually need to cut down. But it is an important part. And I'll talk more after the workout. Have you guys seen that? That pole's moving without any wind going on. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see that. That pole's moving, nothing else is moving. That pole's like wiggling like it's about to be an earthquake. So I'm not quite sure what I finished off with when I was talking about the, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. So I'm just gonna talk about the workout right now. I did back and biceps. Today's the last back and bicep day pretty much. Tomorrow's gonna be the last shoulder day. And starting Monday, I'll be doing a full body workout every single day till I believe Thursday or uh, Friday. Thursday, no, Thursday will be the last day for the full body. And what that's all gonna allow me to do is deplete all the glycogen, uh, all the stuff I don't need in my muscles, and then store, uh, and then store, uh, what is that called? Uh, carb load, align the muscles to look fuller, and bring my overall best package. So that's the pretty much uh, explanation for the workout for the week. But for today's workout, here just a sec guys. Just gotta turn here. Okay. For today's workout, it was mainly high reps, no heavy sets. Uh, I did that yesterday. No, yesterday I did a heavy set for my chest. Uh, it's no heavy sets, just lightweight, 12 to 15 reps. Try to make sure I do not go to failure. Uh, you don't want to get sore for the next day. That's that's the main thing. You really do not want to get your muscles sore at this period of time. We're not trying to break down the muscles. We're just trying to pump some blood into the muscles and deplete all that glycogen in the muscles itself. And that is the goal for the workouts now. So it's going to be higher reps. No more heavy sets. No more heavy sets. So I'm not trying to get sore or anything so I can keep working out. One thing I did cut down or stop actually doing is cardio now. So I'm done with the cardio finally. Uh, you can't do much with burning fat on these stages of uh, just a uh, yeah, I can turn here. Yeah, you can't really burn fat um, when you're in peak week. We, you can't burn fat, right? And so, pretty much, you just got to focus on get, getting the overall package, bringing in the best package you can by focusing on what you're taking in and what you're depleting and all that. Crazy, crazy stuff that I'm gonna be explaining to you guys these next few days. So I got myself my gallon jug. I drank about almost two of these today. So that's 
about a gallon so far. Work is from two to nine today. And first things first, let's go get some shorts. Two pairs. Got the shorts in blue, shorts in black. Let's check them out. Okay guys, finally done work, just finished it. <laughs> I was on Galaxy Kids and it was very, very busy. Had to deal with a lot of crying kids, but uh, I got the job done, dealt with it, fixed them all up. I'm good with people, so really, it wasn't that bad. No, it was pretty bad. Later on, it didn't get as busy, so it wasn't as bad later on. But really, 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 work is done. Um, I got my shorts. You guys saw I went to sport check. I rushed guys. Honestly, the final parking here was crazy, especially on a Saturday. It was just crazy. Uh, it took me maybe 25 minutes just to find a parking and really that, that time I could have used to really determine what shorts I want to use. Cause the thing is with these shorts, I got size 32, uh, waist and I think I need a 30, but with sport check, I could always return it and get back uh, a different pair, but that's if they're brand new and all that. So I'm gonna try it on again. Uh, I like the length, not necessarily the fit on the waist, but I really do like the length. Uh, it's It fits well and all that, but yeah, just the waist. So I'm gonna see if I'm just gonna sew a little bit, just to make it tighter, or if I'm gonna get them changed uh, exchanged and then go to a mall close by my house check them out if they have a size 30 there and see which fits better really <laughs> 